give it the attention um, that it would take, you know, and, and I just, and I've always kept a level head on myself. Like I'm not going to beat myself up. You know, I've always said, whether it was like red couch pod, hood politics stuff, or even the coffee stuff, I'm like, I'm not going to give it more. I'm not going to stress myself out. I am going to give it the attention and oxygen that I can afford to give it in relation to how much it's giving back to me. Does that make sense? Yeah, like, yeah. so if it's, I'm like, when, when, when hood politics pays a bill, then I'll give it the information, then I'll give it the oxygen it needs. Right, right. But right now I'm gonna keep it as manageable as possible. You right. feel me? Um, Cause I'm not gonna overwork myself. I still, I still have my family, but at the same time, it's like, yeah, you know, you just don't put your eggs in one bag. And I'm just so interested in so many different things. Like I, yeah. I, that's just not, that's not my build, you know, but yeah, very young. Very young, multiple streams of income. You're a multifaceted person, so like it just shows up in all these different things you care about and are. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I subscribe to astronomy today. Believe it or not, like I, I read about quasars and such. Anyway, right. no, you're good. <laughs> right, yo, check it out. So you are both a spoken word artist, yes, rapper, blending lines stylistically at any time you will grace a record. Yes. Uh, a Ward and Loso also both spoken war artists in the past who transitioned into battle rap. Yes. They have an advantage over most of their competition due to the creative writing style they sharpen as poets. Mm -hmm. now, you used to battle back in the day, viewers, Google propaganda versus blue. If you want to see, yeah, you know I mean, it happened. LA, yeah, you know I mean, so given that workout, you're going to get this work, yeah, you know I mean, yep. Yep. So two questions. Do you think that being a poet helps to elevate your content as a writer? And would you ever come out of retirement and battle with today's climate? I mean, Cassidy just came out again and battled yeah, like, like two, two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Hitman. Yeah, I'm a Hitman. Um, I, ain't, I ain't even watched that yet. Yeah, don't. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> nah, Cassidy they love, bro. Yeah, they little arguments on, you know, was just like, I was like, kick rocks, man. This is why I don't get back into battle rap. I was like, why are you, man? What is this? So stupid. Anyway, um, just spit the bars, bro. Get to the bars. Uh, Facts. Anyway, um, I do. I think I started doing poetry to make myself a better writer. So I absolutely believe that um, you, can, you can cross train, you know what I'm saying? In the same way that like, you know, the swimmers, you know, sometimes they get out the pool and they run marathons, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, there's definitely like some crossover. That said, it's, they are absolutely two different crafts for two different points, you know, and they have two different goals. And I think you, one should respect that. Um, so yeah, I think that for me, I, like I said, I got into poetry originally to make myself a better writer for raps and battles, you know? Um, now, so that's my opinion. Uh, would I come out of retirement? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> because it's like my, it's to me, I'm, listen, if we going to play ball, if we playing basketball, I'm the, I'm the OG, the old head with the big socks, you know, only shooting three pointers. <laughs> I used to slash, I used to try to like dribble behind my back and dunk on y'all, but I had my days. You could check my highlight reel. I'm not, now these uh, knees, these knees ain't like they used to uh, be. You feel me? I'm gonna shoot. So for me, it's like these dudes, like I always like to say, like, if we think about Terminator, I'm like, I'm like the T1. I'm like the Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> versions. So it's just kind of robotic. I was crazy for my time. But y'all, these, these, these T3s, they liquid. You feel me? Like y'all liquid metal. You got three minutes. You feel me? You about to write a, you about to write a three minute rap. You know, and you get to write it, bro. Y'all had six that's why months I think to research you can kill it, though, bro. That's, but that's why, why I'm like, you can kill it, though. That's you know why I'm mean? like, I'm not built like that. You feel me? Like, that's a new, that's new. So what I'm saying is like, if it was different, if it was like, like I said, like I come from a different world. We were like, you, you have to rap on beat, right? So there was a beat. There was an acapella. You know, it was, you don't know who you battling. You know what I'm saying? It has to be off the head. So if it was personal, it was just because you happen to know this person. But besides that, it was like, no, we're just, we're just sparring, you know? So that's what I, that's what, that's what I could do. And I'm, what I'm saying is like, that'd be me out there looking like Elgin Baylor. You feel me? Like, you know, <laughs> trying to run with LeBron, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, bro, like I'm, I'm a James Worthy. I'm James Worthy. 
You feel Bro, me? Look, we look, we we gonna get you and 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 Dayton to do a two on two kill somebody. <laughs> so, I, both of y'all yeah, out of retirement. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, yeah, I mean, I have, like, a, I mean, like, a little different than Dayton. Like, I, oh, no, I don't think Dayton feels this way. But, like, yeah, I don't I don't have no theological issue with it. I love that, like, because obviously that's where I came from. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I love seeing these young dudes, these all the horsemen dudes. I love seeing that saga. And also, man, dog, I'm like, murder these fools, man. Murk these <laughs> fools. I love it. Serve them. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? So, like, I got no, I got no sweat with it. You feel me? But I just know, like, Nah, I'm gonna remain with my OG status. Like I said, you could pull up the YouTubes. I serve my time. It's just different. And those and those YouTubes, that's what I'm saying. We were freestyling. Like that was Facts. off the head. You know Every what I mean? So it's day. different, you know? Yeah. yeah. So this whole project seems cinematic. Obviously, it's like a musical, it's almost like a musical documentary, and capped, of course, with the credits rolling. It ties up the whole project. You even list off names on yes. that last track, almost like end credits. So yes. And but before all that, you say this song is about forgiveness. So yes. what did you mean by that? And what would this look like as a movie? That's actually it's crazy because that's what Mosky said. He was like, I, I'm making these tracks as a movie. And this is the arc of the movie. So this was you caught his that was his vision as a producer. Um, and that's why he sent me that last beat last. And he called he called it Let the Credits Roll. So I was like, OK, so I just I followed the direction. Um, so the song that was about, the song is about forgiveness. It's like ultimately, you know, all these, whether I was, I was using myself as the example of like, of all these like problems across the world, all of the ailments in my own life, I was saying as a metaphor to like my own father, where it's like, I've inherited, you know, a lot of pain from him. I have a lot of practices from him, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I have a lot of hurt and unforgiveness towards him. You know, but the the truth of like, again, I didn't endure what he endured. You know, he did the best he could. Uh, and I and I am him. It's in it's it's going back to the like, there is no them. There's only us. You know what I'm saying? So in me pointing at these people who all passed away, like in that lyric, in those lyrics, those are all real names. You know what I'm saying? Ending with uh, my goddaughter, Amelia. And then uh, DJ Effecto, you know what I'm saying? That's what Ronnie is. So Ronnie's DJ Effecto. Um, so ending with that is just like the reality of like good, bad, or ugly. It's all us, you know what I'm saying? And so whether it's forgiveness for yourself or forgiveness for the pain that's been caused around you, it doesn't excuse it. It doesn't wash it away because it's still it's still a reality. That's why I was like the. That's why I said the line like the body keeps score, like which is another great book that y'all should y'all should read. It's called The Body Keeps Score. Um, and, uh, and um, but just the reality of that, of like, look, it, it all exists inside of me. It's the same idea I've always said, whether it was the crooked record, which again, is the idea that like, I am the crooked one. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you didn't follow that record, that's what I'm saying. The problem's me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just go back to 2017 record. I'm saying the problem's me. And the problem's you. And the problem's us. You 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 understand what I'm saying? So so that was the concept. Whether it was Precious Puritans, the put the, the the poem that put me on the map in the first place. I'm if you listen to it, I'm saying the problem's me. You know what I'm saying? Like that, like that's so it's this has been a theme of my music the whole time, you know. Um, so so I think that uh yeah, it was important that that like there was this attitude of like again, I'm holding things loosing. I'm holding things with the attitude of forgiveness and grace because I know I'm just like this, but this doesn't excuse the problem. There is a problem that needs to be addressed. There's some healing that needs to happen inside of me and inside of each other and inside of our culture. And we have to do it. There's nothing coming for us. It's us. We have to do this, you know? Well, final thoughts is again, we're not against the culture. We are the culture, man. And uh, if you want to see it better, you need to see you better. All right, so that was Propaganda. Of course, he dropped his new project, Terraform the People. It is incredible. Give it a listen. Seven songs to blow your mind. He ran through the games pretty effortlessly. In fact, he even said, that's it, <laughs> when we were done. Um, another dope spitter off the dome. Uh, shout out to Eli for his questions and interacting, even though he's not here. Or maybe he is. Maybe, maybe I'm putting a, a, an image of Eli right here. 
But uh, <laughs> shout out to Prop. Again, check out that project. Stay tuned for who we have next on Pen Game. Um, I'll, throw, I'll throw out some names. I don't know what order it's going to be, but we have, we have Bumps and we've got Gavi. Whatever order they come, those are the next ones. Um, guys, final, final thoughts, anything real quick? Man, Prop is awesome. I, I, I really love this interview. So, yeah, I was geeking out. Yeah, it was dope, bro. Only thing, you know, I wish I would have got to ask him, you know, what he uses for his hair. Because, you know, I tried to juice some berries. So coming to America, that ain't work. I just made my hair sticky. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm trying to get get my black Rapunzel on. You know what I mean? Just let it know, you know. Awesome album, though. Most definitely. If I would have knew it was going to be a movie, I would have got some popcorn, bro. And see, it need to, the stream need to come with a coupon for some popcorn so you can eat it while you listen to it. That's can we a, just turn it off right now? I'm kidding. Can we? <laughs> and, no, we'll end it off. We're, we're going to kick it to Eli. All right. Thanks, Eli, for the final word. Awesome. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you all next time. This is Pain Game 101. Peace.